Dharma Bites is brought to you by Free Buddhist Audio, the Dharma for your life. Our work is funded entirely by donations from our generous listeners. If you would like to help us keep this free, make a contribution at freebuddhistaudio.com forward slash donate. Thank you and happy listening. The reactive body, that's a body under stress, will respond in stereotypical ways. Those ways are actually not necessarily only human. We tend to decompensate to our more primitive bits of our brain when we are stressed. So this talk this evening is going to be around that reactive process in the body. Also, we can play around a little bit with this idea of a uh, creative body as well. One of the uh, kind of statements that was coming out very clearly to me which I've heard before, I've spent the last 10 years, I guess, training around the body and and trauma. Again, hearing the statement that it's biology before psychology. We might have in our our minds this uh, a a model of psychology at some point segueing into spirituality. We don't have to have to to picture it that way. I mean, Sangharachita makes it quite explicit. He says that that transition, that shift from the psychological into the spiritual, takes place when we move from the hindrances into dhyana. So everything below dhyana is psychological, anything beyond the first dhyana, he says, is spiritual. I think there are other ways to, to have that conversation. But yeah, maybe there's some point at which we shift out of what in the West, we've come to know as a kind of psychological term of reference. Again, you know, psychology is a very protean word. Maybe we can talk about it in terms of our kind of neurotic states. Yeah, hopefully not our psychotic states, but potentially our psychotic states. But even if not psychotic, then neurotic states. And at some point, we develop enough momentum in our spiritual practice to start to kind of leave some of those behind. But, uh, yeah, what I'm suggesting is actually beneath the psychological, so-called psychological level, where we as human beings tend to spend a whole lot of time, is actually a biological underpinning to how we experience the world. So Stephen Porges, who is one of the, uh, one of the teachers on this conference, made the statement uh, that our behaviour sits on a platform of our physiological state. Our behaviour sits on the platform of our physiological state. And when he talks about physiology, he's particularly talking about our neurophysiology. So what's happening in our nervous system. Specifically, if we are what he calls socially engaged, so we feel sufficiently safe and connected with other people in order for us to switch off our threat detection system and be in community, which we could say is our deepest human need and, and longing, yeah? To feel safe, to be around with other people that we feel safe with, and that opens up the possibility of cooperation and collective creative endeavour. I, mean, I hadn't thought about it before, but it's interesting that you know, Sangrashtra says that the, the bodhicitta, the will to enlightenment, arises in collectivity, in collective practice. But we have to feel safe enough in order for that to to take place. We hope you enjoyed today's Dharma Bite. Please help us keep this free. Make a contribution at freebuddhistaudio.com forward slash donate. And thank you 